Hi kids, it's Rinoy again and welcome back to this channel. In this video, you will learn more about describing the properties or attributes of triangles and quadrilaterals using concrete objects or models. Study the following figures. I know what's on your mind. The shape of these figures is a triangle. and is a closed curve or polygon which is created by three line segments. A triangle is a shape or part of a two-dimensional space. It has three sides and three vertices. The three angles of the triangle always add up to 180 degrees. A polygon is a closed figure made up of several line segments that are joined together. The line segments are called sides and do not cross each other. There are exactly two sides that meet at a point. How about these figures? Can you describe each illustration? Say something about its shape, number of sides, corners, and the kind of lines it's made of. Yes, these are quadrilaterals. A quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides, four angles, and four vertices. Can a quadrilateral be divided into two triangles? Hmm. Any quadrilateral can be divided into two triangles. There are different kinds of quadrilaterals, but all have several things in common. All of them have four sides, have two diagonals, and the sum of their four interior angles equals 360 degrees. Let's now have an activity. Draw a triangle if your answer is yes and a square if it is no. Write the correct answer on a sheet of paper. Number 1. Do all quadrilaterals have three sides and three angles? No. Do all triangles have four sides and four angles? No. Is any three-sided polygon a triangle? Yes. Is any four-sided polygon a quadrilateral? Yes. Can a quadrilateral be divided into two triangles? Yes. Good job, kids! How about this last activity? Using the drawing below, write whether the figure labeled by each number is a triangle or a quadrilateral. Write the correct answer on a sheet of paper. The triangles are 1, 3, 5, 6, 8, and 10. The quadrilaterals are 2, 4, 7, and 9. Did you get it? Very good. It's time to test yourself. Answer the following questions. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. Easy, right? Thank you so much for watching. See you on my next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye!